All right, today we're just going to do some finish up work on some of the things we've been doing on out the outside. Get as much done as we can. Um, it's supposed to be dry for most of the day today. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, here where we go. This here doesn't want to keep the mortar on too well. You can see some of it got on. So I've got this coating I'm going to put on there and let it dry. Uh, this stuff is supposed to prepare brick uh, to be able to put mortar over it. Actually prepare any surface, I guess. So I'm going to try to put just a little bit of this on there so the mortar will hold that brick. Because I want to make sure this looks uh, kind of like the, the stone where it blends in with it being on the front of the church because there's not going to be rendering done here. And as this weathers, it'll blend into the, to the stone a little better. This stuff is kind of old. We use this over at Saren Chapel. Baptist Church doing some work and this is some leftover. It didn't need much, so I didn't want to go buy a whole new bucket. So I got this from Brother Stagner over there just to try to repair this little spot. Alright, I think that'll be good. We'll let that dry. Um, I don't know if it'll get dry while we're here to be able to come back and fix that, but if so, we'll try to fix that today before we leave. If not, we'll come back another day and tidy this up. Did want to show you we were able to get the guy to come out and clean the gutters. He was able to get all that out there in that corner and get the downspout cleared out. So we got that taken care of and I'm hoping that'll stop some of the water that was coming in in that area. So I'm going to go back and finish caulking where I started a good while back. There's a little hole there that I had to put some mortar around. And then we're going to try our best to get this painted today while it's dry. with all this rain. Let's go in. <laughs> We're going to have to stop for a few minutes or for a while. It's a little bit of rain and hail mixed in. You can see that those ice pellets fall in there. We stopped and started inside and in about 45 seconds, the hail and rain stopped. So we're gonna keep going, see what we can do while it's not raining. This is indoor, outdoor holly filler. And so since it's outdoor, I'm gonna try to use it to fill in some of these spots where the uh, paint and the old coating is peeling off. And I got that filled in and all, I believe all the all the holes, all the openings. So I'll have to let that dry and uh, sand it a little bit and come back and do some caulking. And maybe we can uh, finish painting after that. Paint these two windows, the two windows over there, and then finish that run right there. And then we'll go along the bottom and we'll have the white part painted and hopefully have the outside looking a little better. We'll have to go back and clean all the windows really well. We're doing a little touch up today and because of the rain, we're not gonna get to finish. So I wanna take you in and just kinda of show you, I think you saw part of the chapel, but I wanna take you in and show you uh, the chapel inside. I think I've shown you this before, but this is some of the damage from the water there i'm hoping that starts drying out soon so we can we can fix all that we've got our tools sitting there but this is inside the sanctuary we built that pulpit a while back so we could have something that was a little bit closer up to the congregation one blessing we have here 
And kind of neat thing is underneath there is a baptistry. So we have our own baptistry here inside the church. Uh, we just have to pull the carpet back and lift up, and it is underneath there. Speaking of the baptistry, I've never opened it up. So after I thought about it, showing you where it is, I thought I'd show you. Here it is underneath the stage here. It's a blessing to be able to have that. Since it started raining outside, we're going to do some work in here. Back during COVID, we started a YouTube channel for the church when we couldn't meet together. And we had several people that are not members of the church that still view. And so we carried on the YouTube channel after uh, we were able to start meeting back in person. And we got this computer here and internet access so we could better do the YouTube stream. And we use this um, webcam here uh, in the church. And so today I, what I wanna do is try to rearrange this table so all these cords are not showing. Um, my son usually takes care of the YouTube stream during service. So I wanna try to fix this up a little bit better for him. This is where you saw us earlier doing some rearranging, clean up. That's where my son sits there and makes sure the YouTube stream and the sound is going well. This room over here, we redid it. It had, uh, had some carpet in here and uh, there was an old shelf there, but we uh, kind of turned it into a little office area, repainted, put some flooring in. I've got to finish uh, the trim, making it look a little better. Yeah, it, you see it kind of boxed in. The reason for that is, is the um, the radiator pipes run through there. And so uh, I couldn't go flush against the wall with the trim. So we made box there and uh, it turned out pretty good. And then back here, we have a small area where we can have fellowships. And then also if we ever can get any kids to coming. We'll use this for a Sunday school room too. But uh, we've been having our, our fellowship times back here at these tables. Then we have a small kitchen area here. And then back here is, is the restrooms here in the back. Right here, after our church services, we always try to have coffee, tea, and biscuits. And my wife uh, takes care of all that. And we use this room for that as well. See our little coffee maker here and uh, different teas and coffees and then biscuits, which are uh, for the Americans watching. These are what we would call cookies, uh, but we'll have tea, coffee, and biscuits after service uh, for a time of fellowship. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. We were just getting some finish work done, the uh, the painting so we can do the mortar up on top at the bricks and then we worked on the windows and then we done some painting on the white parts around the windows and then rearranged the sound equipment. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, sometimes uh, work in ministry is not uh, overly exciting, but it is things that need to get done. So I hope you enjoyed that. We thank you for watching. If you did uh, like the video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and leave us some comments for maybe some questions you may have or some content you'd like to see in the future.